Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to Geneva. This would have been the start of our press conference at this year's motor show. But, as you all know, things have been changing. Unfortunately, we had to cancel our plans for Geneva due to the coronavirus. And it's crystal clear, in times like these, we follow the golden rule, safety first. Let's keep our fingers crossed that the situation will soon improve and everyone will continue to stay safe. Over the weekend, we adopted to the new situation and realigned the way of presenting the news about Skoda in a different, digital, and let me put it this way, simply clever solution. We immediately called back our truck driver, who was already heading to Geneva with the car. He just arrived a couple of minutes ago and now we have it right here, in the heart of our company, in the factory in Mlada Boleslav, back in Czech Republic. We are here in Hall M3, where everything is about quality. This is where we perform the checks and compare the quality analysis on final produced cars under perfect light conditions, from the overall build, paint and material quality. And this is the place where this car too has passed a final approval for its way off to Geneva just some days ago. So actually, there's no better spot to show you our new baby. And this is exactly what we are doing right now. Guys, please, here, here the new car is. Ladies and gentlemen, the all new Skoda Octavia RS IV. Our first RS model with plug-in hybrid drive. It combines three aspects at the same time. First, driving pleasure. Second, everyday practicability. And third, sustainability. Together with the electric motor, the 1.4 TSI engine delivers 180 kilowatt. The maximum torque of 400 newton meter is transmitted to the front wheels via a six-speed DSG. And best of all, thanks to the e-engine, the maximum torque is available from the very first second. With its electric drivetrain, it makes an excellent completion of the Škoda Octavia's RS lineup. It includes the highly efficient 2-liter petrol engine and the state-of-the-art diesel drivetrain with modern all-wheel drive technology. By the way, the Octavia RSIV fits seamlessly into our electric campaign after the Citigo EIV and the Superb IV in 2019. This year we will be presenting the ENIAC IV, our first purpose-built electric car. We are making it the flagship of a new era at Skoda. Stay tuned. So you see, we do have a lot of arrows in our quiver. By the end of 2022, we will have launched a total of 10 IV models. In addition to our successful petrol, diesel and natural gas engines, we are developing the electric drive into a relevant part of our model lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, for us 2020 is a truly special year for Škoda. We are celebrating our 125th anniversary of our great company, an event which only five other car makers in the world could celebrate so far. So 2020 is a year of change, into a new decade, into a new world of mobility and into a new era of Škoda. Stay safe and see you soon next time, hopefully again in person. So what do you think? I was thinking this is the perfect family car. There's plenty of space in the back. And it's a hybrid. It's eco. Mum would love it. 